Film Reviews Episode 5, where we are reviewing Robbie Banfitch's... Well, this one's Card Zero. Yeah. Okay. It's really kind of, like, heartbreaking, honestly, like, going through this film and seeing, I guess, all the innocence that happened before. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, start the film and see whatever else uh, Card Zero is going to be showing us. And then after that, the next film is going to be... A corrupted file found by the police in the Mojave Desert. Basically, they found some corrupted footage from what we saw in the Outwaters. So, this is all really cool. And I, I also think that it's really cool that this director is making shorts, you know? Because sometimes you see a movie in the theaters and then you want to see more after that. Especially with how the Outwaters left uh, me and Tarantino. We, we wanted to be like, you know, we had so many questions afterwards. And it's really fucking cool to hear that there was, like, more. Like, Give us more. We want more. We want more answers. We want more... Uh, discoveries of terror and horror and nightmares. The way the director wants us to view it is the Outwaters first, then Card Zero, which is the one we're watching, and then the next corrupted file footage. We're gonna go ahead and start, and we'll check back with you in, in, in just a minute. This is when I was like 16, right. on the mm. They casted really hot characters. Why do I feel like he's showing like this interest already? Right? Yeah. And then we're gonna Like I could just feel like the vibes, like. He got scared or something. Babe. But his reaction Look though. at his reaction. Yeah. I want somebody to give me a fucking steady ring. <laughs> I feel stupid. Oh, really there he goes. He I, I feel stupid. La pobre. Who said that? Oh, the director? Robbie. Ew. Ew. Because of how you're fucking because acting. You're acting weird. Oh, oof. <laughs> <laughs> I've had these arguments before. <laughs> How could okay, so anyone be that disinterested in this handsome man? Why does that look so romantic? Oh, the earthquake. Ew. Do you want, should I just go? This is so real. It's so real. Oh. What? How could anyone be mean to He's him? Uh, this broke my heart, honestly. I was not ready for this. Me. Yes, go dancing, honey. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we're about 28 minutes in. We have about six more minutes left of card zero. And my heart's already broken, honestly. <laughs> it's too real. This is honestly, like, stuff that I've been through, too. And that feeling of feeling, like, unwanted or feeling like in your own head that you're spiraling or you're feeling too clingy or you know that is all real queer emotion and it's beautiful to see it but it's also really heartbreaking the... Sailor, you're a messy bitch so you live for, you live for this I, you know the breakup i was like yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we're all unhappy in this world no i'm just kidding <laughs> because when they were like making out i was like 
I was bitter. Yeah, I was all of us were bitter. We were just like, <laughs> oh, okay, bad. these two hot ass guys. Yeah, uh-huh. we get it. We and get then it. the other one's disinterested. I'm like, okay, now, okay, now this is real. I'm like, <laughs> okay, I, I can relate to this more now. <laughs> you just see it progressively where he just like is uninterested. That I was just like, damn, like what? I just think there's spectacular acting. Yeah. yeah. Damn. The way that hit me, and I was it like, felt like we were going through an actual breakup with them. I did. I it did. did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just seeing like a glimpse into someone else's life, that's yeah. what it seems like. Yeah. We still got six more minutes left, so we about to see what the hell is going I on. Still I think like... old Robbie just needs a good ass rebound. He needs to go dancing and he needs some whiskey. I, think I still think the other one is cute, the bald one. He's still cute to me. But you like, I like that. I like him a little bit. You mean. like the chase. I like when they're mean. I, mean, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know if it's so much a challenge. Therapy, baby. <laughs> Daddy issues. Therapy. <laughs> Like, this is the, the real part of uh, being queer and having a, a gay relationship. Something that I've gone through multiple times, you know, where I'm talking to somebody and then, you know, you get to know them a little bit better, you're spending, like, more time with them, and then out of nowhere they just start acting different and they start, like, you know, their sentences start getting shorter with you or they start just, you can just feel it. There's, like, definitely a vibe there where you're just kind of like, oh, okay, you know, I think it's time for me to just walk Mm -hmm. away or step off. Some people just aren't communicative like that. Like, they won't ever tell you that that's the reason why. Right. And, you know, even after the breakup, you're always kind of wondering why, but you're never going to get those answers. So it's ultimately up to you to move on yourself and find that happiness within yourself. Or in this case, go to the desert and go into a time-traveling, blood-soaked, frenzy nightmare and uh, castrate yourself. <laughs> I guess the baggage that anybody kind of carries, you're just kind of got like going through your own motions. You're kind of just like, you know, even with these projects, even like just like, that you was know. probably his motivation. He was that like, part, yeah. I'm fucking broken up with, let, let's go out to the desert yeah. and record this shit. Exactly. You know? Even with what we're doing here, you know, like. Yeah. I'm on day four of being sober off of, you know, completely dry off of everything, but nobody else knows that. But, you know, that's just the baggage that I'm carrying. And, you know, everybody goes through their own shit, and then you're still trying to make art. I'm on day four of recovering from taking a 13-inch dick. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, we're on the same page. (laughs) We're on similar wavelengths, Uh but not quite. (laughs) (laughs) I I could never. I'm proud of you. You don't have to lie. <laughs> 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 We're going to watch the, the last six minutes of Card Zero, but oh, like even so far, I thoroughly enjoy it. I think it's really, really entertaining. Damn. That scared the fuck out of me when his nose was bleeding at the end. I could tell. <laughs> yeah, I screamed. We just finished Card Zero, a companion film that is a prequel to the Outwaters before all of the madness happens and they go to the desert to go um, film this music video. Like the show the Game Relationship, which I really liked. I thought the other guy, I don't know what his name was. Half the time I don't know what their name is, though, girl, so. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if they were alluding to the desert changing because it was when he had... I mean, he already kind of had those feelings. You could tell that he didn't, he was not super into him. Because at the very beginning, he was like, well, what do you like about me? He couldn't figure out something. Mm -hmm. But once they went into the desert and his nose was bleeding, I think was when the change started to take place a little bit more. His nose was bleeding again during the earthquake. And then this guy's nose was bleeding. And we were like, oh, there's something different about him. There's something different. And then all of a sudden his nose is... I believe Robbie is very smart. There's a lot of symbolism. And that's something I appreciate in anything. I love symbolism. That's one of my favorite things. There's a lot of thought behind it, which I really, really appreciate. It, even in this, like, prequel, where it's just... Like you said, the day in the life. You mentioned about the nosebleed in the desert. They're in the desert. And even in the outwaters, they go to the desert. There's gallons and gallons of blood. And that was just the... A little pinprick. A little, a little taste. Uh-huh. A little taste. Of what's to come. Of what's to come. Please, I don't even were... know where the fucking blood was coming from sometimes. <laughs> 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 so we're going to go ahead and switch off. Um, I want to hear Tarantino's thoughts on this because Tarantino did see the outwater. So you can go ahead and go. I was just saying. What the... Ooh.
<laughs> I'm all spooked. This wasn't even scary and I'm still spooked. <laughs> the other part? Yeah, we still have the other part. The other part's supposed to get scary. Oh, I like her eyelashes. They're pretty. They're the same ones I've been using. I don't know. They just look pretty tonight. They didn't look pretty the other day, though. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> so, Tarantino, being that you did go with me to go see the Outwaters in New Braunfels and back in February, how do you feel about the prequel that we just watched, Card Zero? I enjoyed it. I was really hopeful for everyone, even though I knew their demise in the actual movie. Getting kind of twisted, even just like relationship-wise, like... It's a normal movie, but you kind of start seeing the nightmares that you experience in certain relationships. It's mm -hmm. like daunting. I like that there was substance behind it, that in this card zero, mm -hmm. that something fucked up happened before they went. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah. there was already baggage and that's what, I guess that's what card zero was, the baggage and the um, despair, believing in someone and them kind of disappointing you. This was perfect for its own standalone. If they would have introduced it in the Outwaters, it would have kind of left us kind of like, well, what happened in How the relationship? How did, like, what, what happened? We all wanted to know what happened. What happened with the we relationship? Why is he much. so sad? You know, we would have had more questions that weren't really necessary, yeah. I guess. I don't know. I, I kind of really, I really enjoyed Card Zero. I really did. Yeah. It was, it was relatable. Nowadays, you do not get to see films like that, that have relatable queer experiences. Yeah. Yes. I said it was refreshing. It so. just like touches my heart and I'm like, fuck. But overall, I'm gonna have to give that my first 10 out of 10. I would rate that 10 out of 10. Wow. I loved it completely. Yeah. It was relatable. It got me, it punched me in the heart. It's amazing to see queer relationships in films. Absolutely. It was beautiful to me. I loved it. Mm -hmm. would you, what would you rate it? I'm gonna say a 9 out of 10. Yeah? Yeah. I haven't seen a lot of short films, but it was nice, especially as a prequel. Was like, it wasn't boring either, it. right? No. Because it's just fun seeing them live their life. You know, <laughs> like they were just living their life. Like that was just kind of fun. Like Normal, them. everyday. Because then, you already know what happens yeah. to them in the end. Uh, especially seeing... Robbie's demise at the very, very end of the Outwaters and what happened to him. But even watching Outwaters the beginning, you're like, you kind of already know. Because of how it starts off? Yeah. I like how at the end of this one, it it kind of introduced the earthquakes that we see in the beginning yeah. of the Outwaters. And then later on in the Outwaters film, we, we start to hear the sonic booms and everything like that. So overall, we really enjoyed uh, Card Zero. <clears throat> yeah, I did. I really did too. I, I would, I would watch it again too. Part, I really enjoyed it. It reminded me that years ago, Logo used to have a um, queer short stories like segment where it would be like a two hour long, so you thought it was a movie, but it, instead it was like little short, like 30 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minute long queer stories. And this was very reminiscent of that. And I really liked the way that he wrote it because it was very real. It seemed like, you know, like it wasn't even written. It seemed like an actual conversation, you know, I which agree. I think is like yeah. what you were saying. The um, acting was <clears throat> spectacular. I think um, as far as shorts, like movies go, I, I would say it's a 10 out of 10. It's a, it's a really good, it is a really good, he did it very well. Um, I could see how this would lead up to a feature length film. I forget what those short gay stories were called and they stopped putting them on logo. Tin like... Tales? <laughs> <laughs> You're all Plantarosa production. <laughs> <laughs> What's the other one called? Did I play? No, no, it's called, um, th um, the... The, you know what I can't do it by Latin man? <laughs> oh, that one too. It's really <laughs> Girl, you okay, know. baby. Go watch it later. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll send you. I'll send so you. at this time, we are going to go ahead and um, conclude Card Zero. Thank y'all for watching. And, you know, stick around because we are going to uh, start file VL-624. Uh, and that is the corrupted footage that the Mojave police uh, found from the Outwaters. So we're looking to get scared it's going to be hopefully really bloody as the outwaters was and this is you know just all of the missing footage that uh they discovered i guess 
I don't know how to describe it. Like, we, I guess we just have to see. 